All right, welcome back. Uh, as you may know, this is a highly interactive show. We always welcome your questions in the live chat room. And clearly, we love it when our users submit some content of their own. Adrian put that together for us, and we really appreciate it. Now, it is my, is my greatest honor to bring on a longtime friend of the show. This is a gentleman who is a graphic artist, a painter, who's making a living in South Miami, just opened up his own studio. Please welcome Phil Fung. Hello, Jesse. Glad you can make it, man. Pleasure, you, pleasure. Bro. Thank you for having me. All right. So, Phil, I'm stuck in the office all day, man. Tell me what it's like to make a living as an artist. Oh, it's 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 about as hard as bodybuilding. You know, <laughs> so you got to spend a lot of time building yourself up and making a product. But uh, honestly, I couldn't think of anything else I'd rather do. I've always been good at uh, making art and using my imagination. And uh, although my body may fool you, I'm not actually very good at sports. <laughs> and so being able to make a living off of just what I create from my own hands is just a wonderful blessing. Cool. Yes. Uh, we've got some of your art displayed in Midtown video. Uh, I want to bring up the, the, the Bob Marley for me, Virg. You got that? Tell me about this, this piece and about the, uh, what's making up the face there. Oh, well, you know, you're lucky. You actually have two Jamaicans on the show today, because I'm actually <laughs> Chinese Jamaican. All right. And so that's part of my culture, because I have the koi fish, which I grew up with a koi pond in my backyard. So I've been painting koi since I was a little boy. And to be able to do pop art in that style is just something new, something that not a lot of people do. And it, it's, it's, it's just a good ex expressionistic style of the energy that Bob Marley carries. Cool. Yeah. So you've got an entire series of, uh, of faces and, and people made from koi. Yes, that's right. Where yeah. can I see more of your work? Oh, if you want to see more of my work, you can always visit my website, which is philfung.com. That's just P-H-I-L-F-U-N-G.com. All right, fantastic. And tell me about your new studio. Where is that located? I got a studio in South Miami in Sunnyland, which is... I think they call it Pinecrest. They call it Pinecrest. Pinecrest yeah. now, okay, well in Pinecrest, in Sunnyland, we've got a 1,500 square foot studio that we just opened up at the beginning of December. And we're going to be there for a while, we're going to see if we can push it longer. Um, so if anybody is in the area and you want to come by, please do, please now, do. Now tell me about the, the origins of the studio and, and how, how you were able to put it together. Oh, you mean how, how we worked out? That's Tell me about the, uh, the art incubator from Terra Nova. That's correct, that's mistake. correct. What we did is, uh, me and a friend of mine, Michael Levine, we pitched an idea to Terra Nova. They are Real estate company. They are the largest property management company in South Florida. All right. They have a couple billion dollars worth of property. You know, yeah. nothing too big. Right. And uh, we pitched this idea of a shop, a pop-up shop, a temporary cultural exhibit so that they could not only just show eyes to their retail space, but also to promote the arts in the community. Fantastic. Now, in, in the studio, I was lucky enough to visit it and, and look around, and I got to really get a sense of not just your individual pieces, but how they all come together. You've got a lot of recurring characters. That's right. That's right. Since I was a little boy, I started my art career drawing cartoons. Okay. You know, be, and uh, that's one of the things that I have not given up. I've continued to this day to make cartoons. Hey, Virg, can we get that piece sign up? Tell me a little bit about the, uh, the cartoons that are showing up in, in your peace sign. Here. Okay, all right. That is a peace sign, obviously. And I decided to fill it with um, popular culture because I'm a pop culture guy and cartoons are so ingrained in pop culture. Sure. So all the different characters in there represent some character from either a television show, a cartoon, or a story. For instance, there's things like the way the wild things are. Okay. There's superheroes. There's lots and lots of penguins. which, uh, And I draw also... Um, my own characters. I have recurring characters like a little bunny that wears a hula skirt and he's kind of crazy. Mm. Where I, is he in the, in the peace sign? What, what leg is he on there? Oh, I think he's on the, um, the left-hand side of the V part. All right, our viewers at home are going to have a little bit of fun looking yeah, for the bunny in the, yeah, in the hula skirt. And, uh, I was also inspired by um, the, a gentleman that did the books called Where's Waldo? Sure. And I love his cartooning style and uh, I try to make mine a little bit more graphic. A little and bit now more you, you plan to make a children's book yourself. That's correct, mistake. that's correct. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, I have this idea of making the story about, everybody knows the joke of like how the chicken crosses the road. Yes. And well mine is, is a little spin on that. There's a chicken that crosses the road and he ends up meeting a penguin. And the penguin takes him on a journey to go visit Penguin City. Okay. You know, it's Antarctica. Yeah, it's a penguin part. City, all right. Penguin City, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so there's a chicken that goes with this penguin and meets all his penguin friends. 
and they have a grand old adventure, and you get to see all the different facets of penguin culture. So I think you brought two of the penguin cities with you. Yeah, there should be here. Virg there we are. So there you tell go. me about this art museum. What are we looking at? That is the Penguin Louvre, which has <laughs> down at the bottom the Penguin Mona Lisa. To the right, you see uh, the, the Picasso blue penguin. Uh, right above that, there's um, an actual piece by Brancusi called Bird in Space, and there's Indiana Jones penguin in there. And there's all, all the paintings in there are actually um, representative of actual And the chicken work. that crossed the road, yes. I think, shows up in every single penguin city. That's correct. Where is the, where is the chicken in that? Uh, let's bring that up one more time. Let's, let's tell oh, us Oh, I'm not going to tell you that. You've got to find it yourself. All right, viewers at home, <laughs> look around for a chicken. And uh, so, in keeping with our penguin theme, Phil, um, you, you've agreed to, to draw a little bit of a, a greeting, a holiday greeting to our, to our viewers our, in the audience and, and to our billions and zillions of internet viewers. That's right. What are you going to draw for us That's today? That's right. I want to keep with the holiday Kwanzaa Chanaka cheer. I was going to draw you a festive penguin. All right. A little penguin that um, just, he's all into the spirit of the season. So you brought a canvas with you? I do. I brought a canvas with me. And uh, yeah, let me show you how it's Fantastic. done. Fantastic. Let me show you how it's done. Yeah. Alrighty, so what I got here, canvas and a simple sharpie, I'm going to show you how it's done. Drawing penguins is very simple. The first thing you do is you start with two little dots. All right, you draw a little triangle to the side, another little triangle. There he is smiling at you. Let's draw his Santa Claus hat on the top of that. And here we go. Nice oval, a nice oval. There's one wing, there's his other wing, and there's his cute little legs, cute little legs, and we'll give him something awesome to look forward to. Let's give him a little present that he wants to open up here. Maybe an iPad. Maybe, maybe an <laughs> iPad, or a really fancy easel, well, who knows, maybe All art right. supplies. All right, and uh, we can always embellish this. We'll give him a little Christmas tree action. And there you go. If you'd like to learn more, you can always visit my studio, and I'll teach you how to draw a penguin of your very own. Yeah, Free yeah. penguin drawing Free lessons. Free penguins, exactly. At Phil Fung Studio. That's right, that's right. Phil, once again, man, thank you so much for making it out to our show. Thanks for having me, Jesse. I really appreciate it. It's a it. pleasure. That's about all the time that we've got. I'd like to say once again, thank you to my studio audience for making it out. Thank you to our guests, Marlon, Chad, and Art. Thank you to our friends at Steady Image. Uh, thank you. Adrian, and thank you, Paul Campbell, for sending us in your footage. Make sure to check us out next week, next month, January 20th, the first show of the next year. It's going to be totally awesome. Once again, you guys have really made it great here, and we appreciate you watching every month. This is for the Dot Video Show, your host, Jesse Miller, saying, totally awesome. Grab a drink, pull up a chair. If you need inspiration, you'll find it right here, because you just don't get any better. Jesse Miller Show. So grab a drink, have a smoke. Stay tuned for information coupled with jokes. The imitators can do it like this. This is a show you can't afford to miss. Because the more you know, the better you are. And the better you are.